We are using a free website theme for our site. And when you get a free theme off the internet, you will get separate files for each page. This theme, Alpha, which we got from HTML5 Up, came with this home page, a generic page, a contact page, and an elements page. And these were all separate files. And each separate file had the code for the drop down menu in. So in the last lesson, we looked at extracting that code from each of those files and putting it into one place in a modex chunk. So in this lesson, we're going to repeat that process with other duplicated page areas. And we're also going to introduce some more modex tags. And we're also going to make the site look more like a, a, real, a real website rather than a, a theme site. With that in mind, the first thing I'm going to do is change layouts to say menu. So to do that, we need to return to our chunk, our navigation chunk, which is in the elements tab under chunks. So here we have the code layouts menu save. Reload the page. There we go. That makes more sense now. And let's do a bit of tidying up in the elements tree. We don't need my chunk. We don't need that anymore. That was just um, an example we used in an earlier lesson. So I'm going to remove that. Remove chunk. Now let's have a look at our four templates. I'll open them all in separate tabs. So if we click through the different templates, this is the index template. This is a generic template. This is the elements template. And this is the contact template. We can see that very little changes between the three templates. So there's, again, there's common code there, which we can put in a chunk. And that's what we're going to do now. One thing that did change was the title. So what we can do here is we can replace the title with a modex tag. And the modex tag will be a template variable page title. And that will grab the title we use for the particular page that that template is used on. Right, let's cut out the information in the from the head HTML head tag and put it in our own chunk. So create a new chunk. I've called this chunk head. So let's put that code in. And let's put the head a reference to the head chunk into our index template. So square brackets, dollar sign, head, save. So just have a quick look at the site and make sure. So that's still working because the front page uses the index template and everything is still in order. So if the head wasn't in order, it wouldn't be connecting to the CSS files and it would look all wrong. So you can tell that that has worked. So I'm going to do a couple more things while we're working on the head chunk. And that is, I'm going to first of all, remove the meta tag keywords that used to be used by the search engines, but it no longer is. So there's no need for that but the meta description tag is, and we want that to be a unique value for every page because Google likes that and it's good to do things that Google likes. So I'm going to add the template variable description, which will take the value from the page this template's being used on. It will take it from the so we're on the home page there's the description field 
So any value you put in the description field will be on any of the pages will be taken from that page and substituted in the header there. So Google can then access a description of your page and use that in the search engines. Results, that is it will use it in the um, search results. So I've now replaced the head content in each of the templates with the modex head chunk. So whenever we want to make changes to that, if we want to add our own CSS files or whatever, we only, we only need to change it in one place. So in the same way, we can change other common components in the templates. So the next thing I'll do is I'll change the footer elements. I won't show you the whole process, I think you've got the idea now. So I've done the footer chunk, that's here, and I've put it in all the templates, all the different templates. And I've also edited the index, the home page template, um, so that it appears more like a real website. I've just added um, a new title to the page as though we're selling some navigation courses because the image I use for the background happened to be, it looks like a nautical compass to me. So I've called our website the Alpha Maritime Navigation Courses site. So now the idea is anytime we create a new page for our website, we'll use a template for that page. So the most likely one we'll use is the generic one. That's why it's called the generic template. So let's go and have a look at that generic template. Now it's got the common elements, the head, the navigation and the footer, but we want the content to be unique. So we don't want to keep that unique content in the template. So what we'll do with it is we'll cut it out and replace it with another template variable, a modex template variable. This time it's called content. Save that. Then go to the page. In this case we called it a generic page. and scroll down and then there's the text area for our content. So if we then paste it there and we go to the site generic. So the content is still there now. The template is nice and tidy and we can edit the generic our page, the generic page in this text box. Now that doesn't look very easy to edit because it's all HTML code and it's trying to correct all the Latin. So what we can do here is we can make use of another extra and we can um, use a WYSIWYG editor in this content box. So I'll show you how to do that now. Go to the Extras menu item, Installer, Download Extras, and Tiny MCE is the one I use. It's the uh, the most popular on this list. Download. Back to the Package Manager. Install. Continue. So yeah, that's installed without any problems. Okay. Now if we go back to our generic page, we can now see that we've got a, a nice what you see is what you get WYSIWYG editor. In this case it won't be exactly what you see on the front page because 
the editor isn't using the CSS um, from the head of the page it's just the plain HTML the default values for the HTML in there so it won't look exactly the same but it's a lot easier to edit now let's just uh, add something to this blah 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 save let's have a look at the front page reload sorry not the generic page again so there it's picked up my um, picked up this stuff that I've edited so it's very easy to edit the contents of that your new page now and so this editor is tiny MCE there are others you you're not you're not restricted to this one there are other ones you can use other free ones and there's other uh, paid ones one of my favorites is called redactor which is produced by modmore so google modmore to check that one out it's very good and they've got other paid plugins as well which are, um, are very good and, and worth checking out and also if you buy one of their plugins um, a percentage of the money goes towards modex supporting modex so that's wor well worth doing so let's just make this page make a bit more sense rather than calling it generic let's call it about us it's quite a common sort of page save we need to change the alias as well about us it just makes more sense let's reload reload the front page so there we have about the about us page about us so let's edit this image. So we do that by right clicking on it. Insert edit image. So we don't want the default image. Let's use one of our own and I found another maritime related one on the internet. So if we go to and I uploaded that to our images folder. So double click that. Update. Are you sure? Yes. And we've got that image there. Save. Let's have a look. So this is beginning to look like a more. Like, it's a little, still a long way to go, but it's beginning to look like a real website. We've got the home page. Got the about us page which we can add to Got a contact page and we can now add pages at will and if we give them the generic template then we can also edit the content uh, as we like so in the next lesson we'll have a look at the contact page and we'll have a look at the form and how we get form data from our website from our users